Hey, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't done so, why don't you hit the little subscribe button for us? It does help us out. <clears throat> In today's video, we're gonna look at a PlayStation 2 that came to us because the owner said there was no signs of life. I assumed it's a power supply issue and there are a few common problems with the PlayStation 2, but there's also a lot of fuses on the bottom of the board. But in this case, it was a faulty power jack. So stick around and we'll show you how to fix it. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today on the bench, we have a PlayStation 2. This is one of the slim models. It came to us today because it has a power issue. The owner said it just wasn't powering on at all anymore after pulling it out of the closet you know, for who knows how long, 10 plus years. So there's a lot of variants on this board, but the, the PS2 has a lot of fuses. So we might have to go in and check some of those. Um, but a lot of times I also find that the power connector on the back is just broken away from the board. It's actually a fairly good design. The connector itself is captured in the, in the body, um, but it, it seems like, you know, people just pull on the cords and it's just, uh, it's just a standard power connection, but, uh, you know, it seems like people just pull on them and, and cause problems. So. Anyway, we're just gonna start by taking this one apart and seeing what we've got. Um, and by the looks of things, it looks like it's already been in too. But we'll go a little farther. The, there's a couple ways to get these out. Um, there's, there's six screws in this particular one. Uh, these should have, this should have had a rubber foot. These rubber feet don't come up. And then the rest of them are just plastic. If you get something under one edge and then pick it up, from the other edge, <clears throat> it seems like the easiest way to go. Kind of like that. And that's just the six screws there. Maybe it hasn't been into. Cut the tape. There's security tape on the back. And it wasn't cut. It looked like it had been stressed, but not cut. That's pretty much it. Sometimes they put up a little bit of a fight. They kind of clip into place. Uh, now, as far as the main board goes, this switch will lift out, but we can get this ribbon cable out pretty easy and um, I usually just get that out of the way. And there's one screw yeah, up between the two ports that holds it in place. And it comes out like that. Set that aside. And that's pretty much the whole thing. There's a lot of shielding have a fan, heat sink. Uh, like I said, there's, there's a lot of variations on this particular one. There's several different drive models um, and several different boards. But the first thing we're gonna do is just come into here, and just see if we've got continuity on the power jack. Um, what you can see here is you have the two ground posts and this is your power. And a lot of times as it gets bent and wiggled, it cracks and matter of fact yeah I can see the crack in it already uh, I'm gonna set up the microscope okay so now we got the microscope out and uh, if we look over here you can clearly see you can see my pointer that that positive trace is just cracked 
So this whole connector is just loose. There's a few things we can do uh, to clean this up and to fix it. Uh, but the most simple is to press it firm into the board, push all the solder joints back down. Now in this case, there's actually a little bit of that solder pad left and we can bridge it. But what we'll also do is probably use a little piece of high strand silicone wire and we'll, uh, we'll just jump it to a, to a clean spot. So, um, so let's do that. All right, I just wanted to reposition everything um, so we can try to capture a shot from uh, all the cameras. Um, and you can see right here, um, the crack, okay? Um, now these aren't cracked around our grounds, but they're definitely wiggling. So let's heat up our soldering iron. And what we'll do is we'll just support the first step. Actually, the very first step, we're gonna clean off some of the old, the old solder um, just so we can have a good clean spot to work from. And then we'll push the jack, the jack in the whole way, re-solder it, and then we'll bridge the, um, we'll bridge the, the gap with some clean wire. And hope that that's all that's wrong with this, uh, this PlayStation. And every time I see that, that's generally the case. None of the other fuses are blown. <clears throat> Probably need a little more heat. I was working with some heat sensitive components and leaded solder. So we had our temperature of the whole way back down at 320. Um, with this much, copper in these and everything, you've got to have the heat up just to help compensate. But a lot of these modern components can, can take the heat anyway. You can see how the solder wick just picks that all up for us. <laughs> yeah, you can see that trace is completely, uh, <laughs> completely pulled away from the board. That's, we've got about a 99% chance that, you know, that's all that's wrong with this particular unit. fresh solder. Helps keep everything tinned. When soldering, you don't want to put a dirty iron away. Um, and as you can see, you know, it should be nice and bright. Um, that's one reason why I did get rid of my old Phillips. It just seemed like all the tips I could find for it were, they wouldn't hold a tin very well um, with modern solders. Um, and even though I use leaded here in the shop, all these boards for the past, I'm not even sure, maybe 10 years have been, 15 years have been, um, you know, lead free. So anyway, let's get back to, back to this. So I'm going to make sure this jack is the whole way up and in, which it is. It's nice and square on the board. So let's go ahead and clean the solder paste away. The flux, you can see it, it burns.
and leaves residue that we don't want. Oh, that's still connected to the board a little bit. Okay. We're good then. Let's... Clean around it. Pull it in. We can actually do a little overlap here. Needed a lot of fresh solder. And that'll help anchor everything. Yeah, it's definitely not, there's no connections through there. We pulled all the solder up, but the part that's still connected to the board is not making a connection. I'm just gonna pull that trace the whole way over to that section of the board. Solder it, make sure there's solder on this end. Okay. I'm guessing now we've got continuity from this pin to this contact back here. Maybe not. Yeah, we do. Okay. Good. But we're still going to put a jumper in. So all I'm going to do is take a little piece of this. And this is 20... No. This is 18 gauge high strand silicone wire. to connect. Slip it under the shielding. See a little better there. There we go. Definitely don't want to, you know, hit that ground. 
of course, that's all pushed up. So let's push it back down. Actually, we're gonna hold it tight and push this all back in. So if nothing else, we have solder keeping it from pivoting. Okay. You can see our connection here. I know it looks sloppy under the microscope, but it's actually pretty clean. So <clears throat> let's go back here. Okay, we're good. Well, I guess we should check, make sure we're not shorted to ground on accident. And we're not, okay. All right. Move this all out of the way. And just take one quick peek. Our right, jack's actually pretty snug now because we pushed everything back in and resoldered. So we can actually just do it like this. switch in place and power plug her in <laughs> look at that we got a uh, red light so let's do this too that's Sony or is that Dreamcast that's Sony Sony and um, PlayStation and Dreamcast connectors look very similar um, if you haven't seen them uh, do I have one down here right now? I haven't worked on a Dreamcast in a while. Um, but really, the only way you can tell the difference is it's it's curved. No, it's curved on the one edge. So let's go ahead and plug our monitor in. And find our input. Component. See what happens when we push the power button. Hey, there we go. All right, this one was a pretty easy fix, um, but it's a common issue with these uh, with the slim PS2s. I, I've seen them crack there several times. But like I was saying, there are uh, there are several other possibilities, and there's fuses on the bottom. Um, Maybe we'll get to look at one of those next time. But for now, I'm going to button this up uh, off camera. And I appreciate you uh, joining me again. Uh, I know I've been gone for a little while. And I'm sure some of you have watched my COVID sucks video. Um, but I do appreciate all my viewers. I appreciate my subscribers. And speaking of that, if you haven't subscribed, please hit the little button right here and help us out. Um, also, any comments or anything else you'd like to see? Um, I'm still trying to catch up. Uh, I got a little backlog from being sick. But if there's something else you'd like to see, anything special, make some comments down below and I'll see what I can find. But thanks for joining us. See you next time.